hello Pisces how are you so today I'm going to do your reading for next seven days energies for next seven days so let's see what the cards have to reveal so unlike uh, you like your cards when I'm shuffling they're so calm and not jumping out at all so it looks like you are on a very stable ground uh, like you, uh, Sagittarius is also ruled by Jupiter, so I just finished a reading for them and for Sagittarius it was like all over place, uh, cards were jumping out so fast and so quickly, so for you it's a good, good thing that you are quite stable on a right uh, strong foundation, that's what I would say. So Let's pick 10 cards for the Celtic Cross and see where it leads to But the bottom of the deck is six of wands and on the other side is opportunities or eight of pentacles so I see that there is a need for success that you or victory that you want to have and there are lot of opportunities also coming on your way to help you to find that success so things are going hand in hand at least in your environment how much you utilize it the other cards are going to reveal it let's see right at the center is dream knight of cups it says that you are dreaming a lot of things you are imagining a lot of things and you are trying to manifest all your dreams and working towards manifestation and manifestation or finding that sense of victory is very important for you right now what's crossing is this courage or strength you have dreamt a very big dream that's what the cards are suggesting but to manifest something of that volume you also need to have uh, some courage to put actions behind it in that way and the kind of actions you are putting right put right now or you are hand the way you are handling your life or the way you are handling uh, all the opportunities that are coming on your way is not as aggressive as it should be you need to become a little more uh, active little more aggressive little more resourceful little more uh, energetic right now to pursue these dreams uh, if it requires to drive your car at 150 kilometers per hour you are playing very safe and driving at 80 or 90 kilometers per hour that's what the cards are suggesting here in the past you were thinking a lot trying to understand a pattern in your life and after uh, looking through this pattern you started creating your goals and you wanted to manifest these goals which is fine again uh, but you are not moving as fast as you should be but then in future the cards shows that you still have faith that you'll reach your destination with all the techniques that you know and with the ways the way you are handling things right now which is like if you're driving a car and the if you're supposed to drive at 150 and you're drive kilometers per hour and if you are driving at 80 to 90 kilometers per hour you still have faith that I may reach my destination a little late, but I'll definitely reach my def uh, destination. That's something that you have very strong faith upon and you are continuing to drive in that direction without any uh, 
confusion you don't have dual thoughts you don't have any uh, side tracks about it that I may take a detour or something you are single mindedly focused and you know a certain way of handling things and you are sticking to those ways and techniques you don't want to upgrade right now you don't want to make changes maybe you have fear maybe you have more faith on what you already know and you know that slow and steady would win, win the race something like that you are working in that direction on a social sector people around you are quite happy with you and they are also giving you all the support and the courage that you need right now the mental support the physical support any kind of support that you want you should go and ask for that to the people around you and they will provide you in the next seven days what's below the surface is the star a planetary alignment that is supporting you and giving you all that confidence that whatever you need is already there with you and you don't need to change and it might work and the awareness that uh, you will get what you want maybe it would be little delayed but you still get it that is perfectly fine and that is giving you even more confidence that let's stick to the business and continue keep continuing the way things worked out for you in the past the advice for you is also start listening to your inner consciousness somewhere in the whole action or the planning or executing of things what i see here is that you are very outwardly focused and somewhere deep inside you some kind of voice is trying to give you a hint that you may not have to change everything about you. You may not have to learn new techniques to shift the speed from 80 to 90 kilometers per hour to 150 kilometers. You don't have to learn anything. You just need to be a little more aggressive in one particular aspect. Very slight. You need to make a very minor change somewhere and that your inner voice is shouting very loudly to tell you and you are not able to listen to it so somewhere down the line is that you need to practice some kind of meditation or some kind of writing uh, therapy to each one their own like for some people journaling for next seven days might help to reveal something for some of you it might be to just go out in a lonely garden where there are not a lot of people find a spot and meditate there for some of you it might be a lonely corner in your own apartment or house light a candle and just focus on the flame of that candle do some kind of meditation that works for you your fear is that your wishes will not get fulfilled and that is just fear so don't worry about it Another fear that you have is that if you change your whole course of action with, in my example is if you increase your speed you will end up meeting a big accident or lose all the foundation that you have and that's right and you don't have to do that you need to meditate and find a way uh, where you can hold on to your foundation and still increase your speed you don't have to go and change everything about yourself you don't have to do that you have to make a very minute a very silly tiny bit of change which only you know and the final outcome is a sense of irritation by end of this week because what the cards are telling that you won't realize what is that one small thing that you have to change about yourself to get everything that you always wanted uh, but then it will make you little more impulsive and that impulsiveness will force you to go and seek that inner guidance so this week will be a journey of going through that impulsiveness and then 
once you become little more impulsive little more agitated then you will have that motivation okay i now need to sit in a corner and try to find answers for myself because you will realize that although people are very supportive people are giving you a lot of stability but they they don't have answers for all your question it's only you who can find the answer for your questions but all in all i see here is that you will find success at the end of the month month is quite soon so not the month but uh maybe in next 3 weeks because of the star card is here i'm which is very good planetary alignment and i think that uh, the solar eclipse june 10th would be a very good time for you to have clarity about what small changes you have to bring in to achieve all your dreams that you always wanted to manifest and how to use these opportunities that are coming on your way so that's your reading pisces thank you so much for watching this video and please leave your comments down below i'm quite interested to read your uh, comments thank you so much until next time bye bye and namaste